Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to show how to use the multinomial distribution to solve problems and we're going to do it in Excel. So let's take a look at our Excel spreadsheet. We'd like to remove the grid lines from the spreadsheet to make it more readable. So hit Tools, then Options, then uncheck the checkbox next to grid lines. Hit OK, grid lines are gone. And the multinomial distribution is a discrete distribution, not continuous. It has values only at discrete points and it provides the probability of a specific combination of outputs for a given number of trials. Each trial is totally independent. The probability of each of the specified outputs in each trial is known and it uses sampling with replacement. Take a sample out, observe it, and put it back. Let's take a look at a problem that uses the multinomial distribution. In this problem we have a box with 12 marbles. Five of those are red, so the probability of a red marble is 5 twelfths. Four of the marbles are white, probability of a white marble is 4 twelfths. Three of the marbles are blue, probability of a blue marble is three twelfths. Six marbles are selected, and we use sampling with replacement. We calculate the possibility that out of the six sampled marbles, three are red, two are white, and one is blue. And the parameters we need to know are, number one, the probability of each of the specified outputs. Since we're using sampling with replacement, they don't change. The probability of a red marble remains 5 twelfths. Probability of a white marble is always 4 twelfths. Probability of a blue marble is always 3 twelfths because we use sampling with replacement. The proportions remain the same. And the second parameter that we need, the total number, well, we're taking six samples in this problem, so n is set to 6. And the third parameter in this problem is k, the number of possible outputs in each trial. Well, for each sample, we can pick out a red marble, a white one, or a blue one. There are three possibilities, so k is set to 3. And the fourth parameter in this problem is n1, n2, up to nk, the specified number of successes for each of the possible outputs after n trials. Well, the problem says calculate the possibility that after six trials, three are red, two are white, and one is blue. So n1 is 3, n2 is 2, and n3 is 1. And a special case of the multinomial is the binomial where k equals 2. Only two possibilities. For example, if you only had red marbles and white ones. Here we have three possible possibilities for each trial. Now let's take a look at the formula as it's commonly written and plug our numbers in. Remember n equals 6, n1 is 3, n2 is 2, n1 is 1, k equals 3. And plugging the numbers into the formula, we get an answer that there is a 12.06% chance that out of the six marbles sampled, three are red, two are white, and one is blue. Let's take a look at this problem solved using Excel, using Excel formulas. There it is. If you put that into Excel, that's what it would look like. And the first line of Excel code has spaces between the numbers. An actual Excel formula that you would type in on your spreadsheet would have no spaces, as is shown in the second line of code. A special case is which is the binomial distribution in which k equals 2. In this case, there are only two possibilities. You have nine marbles, five of those are red, four are white. Probability of red marbles, five ninths. Probability of white marbles, four ninths. Six marbles are selected k equals 2 because you can only get a red or a white marble, n equals 6, 6 marbles are selected, sampling with replacement, and calculate the possibility that out of the 6 sampled marbles, 3 are red and 3 are white. So n1 is 3 and n2 is also 3. And we're going to solve this two ways. We're going to use the multinomial distribution formula that we just did, and we're going to solve it using the binomial distribution formula. Now the binomial distribution formula uh, we're going to have to restate the problem here. And we have other videos on the binomial distribution formula, so we'll go through that quickly. But here, plugging in our numbers, n and 1 and 2 and k, gives us an answer that there's a 30.11% chance that of the six marbles, three of those are red and three are white. And here we have plugging in the numbers in Excel. Now, if we did this using the binomial distribution, we would have to restate the problem in terms of one marble, as we do here. Restating the problem is, what is the probability that three marbles out of six are red if the probability of a red marble in each trial is five ninths? And you see the binomial distribution formula outlined in blue has four parameters. The first parameter 
the number of successes, three. Second parameter, number of trials, six. Third parameter, number, or the probability of success on each trial, five ninths. And the fourth parameter, whether or not we're using the cumulative distribution function. In this case, we're using the probability density function, so the fourth parameter is false. We're not using the cumulative distribution function. And our answer is the same. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of eManuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash eManual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.